Hey everyone and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today I'm going to showcase some mods for Fabric 1.16.5 that you may have never heard of. I'm going to divide this video into two categories, magical mods and decorating mods. So without any further ado, let's get right into the video. So first let's get started with magical mods. The first mode on the list is Icarus. This one adds wings to your game with different designs. So here are some of my favorites. One thing I like about this mod is its animation. This is also good when it comes to role playing with your friends so feel free to check this one out. Now that you've become the ruler of the sky, it's time for the ruler of the sea to arise. With the Mermaid mod, you will be able to explore the depths of the ocean with a tail, giving you a better experience. Combine this with the Merlin origin so that you'll be able to breathe underwater. So in order for you to have a tail, you need the amulet, and this is how you craft it. You can change the color of your tail depending on your choice, and you can also wear wings at the same time, and it looks epic. Next we have Illuminations, a client mode that adds fireflies and various glow-in-the-dark ambient particles to your world. So basically it will add yellow orbs outside at night time and blue orbs inside caves. You can adjust the number of orbs if you think it's too much or if you prefer more. I think that this is a good mod that will make your world aesthetically pleasing. Next we have Magical Lanterns, which are new variations of lantern block. Every lantern type has a special effect like increased crop growth, withering, slowing nearby mobs, and many more. So here are some examples. Those are love lanterns. It makes nearby mobs fall in love. This is a brilliant lantern. It turns nearby mobs directly into experience. I suggest you use this if you have a mob farm. And this is one of my favorite lanterns because it is powerful. The fairy lantern. It lights up a giant area below it by spawning sparks. And it is very very efficient because you will no longer need to mine some ores and make some torches. So in order to make a magical lantern, you will need a lantern maker and the lantern codex. The lantern codex contains the instructions. All you have to do is to combine the stuff needed and then place a lantern at the top of the lantern maker. Voila, you have your magical lantern. Next we have Rings of Ascension. It is a mod that adds 20 plus new rings to your Minecraft. Each ring has its own special effects that is activated when the ring is equipped. Rings from this mod don't have a recipe and can only be found in specific locations. For example, Ring of Fire Protection can only be found in Nether Bridge, Ruin Portal, and Bastion Treasure. So here are some rings that you may find interesting. Ring of Magnetism that pulls items toward the player. Rings of Max Hill that gives you more heart. Ring of Light that will enable you to fly even if you're in survival. And then Ring of Water Walking. This will allow you to walk on water. And surprisingly, it doesn't turn water into ice. Ooh, Minecraft Jesus. So now we're going to transition to the category 2 decoration mods. So first we have Farmer's Delight. It is a mod that gently expands upon farming and cooking in Minecraft. With this mod you'll be able to prepare a wide variety of hearty molds that'll give you different effects. From sandwiches to salads and stews, from beautiful deserts to mouth watering feasts. It also introduces cute decorations for your builds and many blocks and items to help you on your adventure. Next we have Better Nether. This mod will dramatically improve the nether by adding new plants, mobs, structures, foods, blocks, tools, and new unique biomes. So here are some examples of blocks that it adds. And there's literally so many more. My favorite part of this mod is the glasses. It looks regal and majestic. So here are some biomes that I managed to find. This mod has a lot more to offer but I am afraid I won't be able to showcase them all cause this mod is really big. Next we have Adorn. This one adds a lot of furniture to Minecraft making your home decorative. And they're also functional too. Ooh. So yeah, you can see it on the top of the chair. 
So here is the creative inventory, as you can see there are a lot of varieties to choose. Next we have Candle Backport. Candle Backport is a mod that seeks to do one thing and one thing only. Faithfully backport the new candles from 1.17 to 1.16 versions of fabric. Lastly we have Oh the Biomes Will Go. This one adds new biomes and blocks. I prefer this to any world generation mod simply because it adds a lot of flowers and stunning trees. I mean come on, how could you not possibly like that? See? So you might be wondering why do I have an obsession with trees? Well basically it's because with new trees meaning new uh, leaves that I can use to design my house. Whoa. You could literally make your own forest. So here is some interesting biomes I found. And that's it for this video, thank you so much for watching, if you reach this point, you are fantastic. If it happens that you like the recommendations, feel free to support the channel by making the thumbs up button blue and maybe consider subscribing. Don't worry, it's totally free and if I do something crazy, you can unsubscribe, that's alright. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, goodbye and take care, goodbye. Okay,